And welcome back to Yuri John 120. I am Jeff Cliff, and this is uh, yet another video of 120 things that I learned as a student at the University of Regina that I think that you should know. And today we're going to be talking about, while well, we still have time today before we're kicked out of the, uh, our space because the library is closing, uh, is the argument from moderation, logical fallacy. And so this one, uh, yet another logical fallacy, uh, we're going to see uh, if we write it down in its most basic form as we've done in previous videos. something like this, where you state uh, a premise, uh, then you state another premise, and then you conclude that the truth is between the first and the second premise. Saying nothing else about uh, the, the premises, uh, that in and of itself is not actually a valid uh, conclusion to draw. Now there may be situations where it is valid, that you know you have proven one way or the other that there is some limit on one side of an issue. And you've proven that there is some limit on the other side of the issue, and then you've proven that the conclusion must be in between those two limits. Then you can conclude that the, 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 the answer to your question is somewhere a, a moderate stance between two issues. However, most of the time, or, or at, least, at least some of the time, you uh, can get into situations where positions are described without proving that the middle ground is necessarily the, the correct to date. An example being last night's leaders debate between the, the different candidates uh, who are trying to run for public office here in Canada. Uh, more than a couple of times, uh, candidates would try to position themselves as a moderate between two different parties, while Hare tried to position himself in terms of uh, using uh, the military in armed conflict between Elizabeth May on the green side, who tended to be more, uh, at least in his view, uh, willing to only use the military for peacekeeping and never use it in armed conflict, and Stephen Harper, which in his view would have gone into the Iraq War and tried to, or was interested in uh, adventurism in many different types of forms. He tried to frame the issue and position a reasonable stance between those two stances. However, it may not be the case that that is by default the answer and that it is not necessary that it military adventurism is necessarily wrong or likewise that the, the, the use of only peaceful uh, or the, the use of military in only peacekeeping roles is necessarily better. This is an unspoken assumption and is when stated purely in this way actually even as bad as a logical fallacy uh, to, to make the claim that, that the middle ground between two extreme opinions is by default correct. Of course, it may be plausibly correct. There may be reasons to believe that a middle point or a moderate stance, uh, especially when dealing with something as complicated as a nation state or a really large bureaucracy, uh, you know, the, the middle ground may in many cases be the, the, a better idea than an extreme idea or an extreme stance. However, it is also logically possible that the extreme stance may be correct in some cases, and it is worth considering, at least insofar as you have the cognitive resources in whatever, you know, personal resources, uh, personal time to think about it, all the way up till the ability of large groups of people to, to reason and consider it. Uh, as long as you have that capability, it's logically possible that extreme stances can be correct. Uh, another example is be between the, the, the the use of uh, compromise between intelligent design and the evolutionary or the theory of evolution. It's it oftentimes possible that people will try to reframe the issue as between two sides of an issue, or that there's, you know, if you look at Fox News, they'll try to be fair and balanced between one pro war candidate and the uh, candidate that's even more pro war. It is, again, not always possible that the answer that of what should be done or the thing that is logically true, or, or the, the thing that is uh, supported by evidence is between only two perspectives in a debate. And it's not necessary that the, the, the thing that should be done is between, for example, or, uh, intelligent design and evolution, if evidence only supports one of those two conclusions, although I will leave an exercise for the reader which of those two conclusions uh, the evidence supports. But just as a, a general point, uh, be wary for people who try to frame the debate 
or, or frame the way you perceive things between two extremes and try to position themselves in between those two extremes. Careful and watch, just make sure that it's the, the middle ground that they're showing you is actually the correct path to take. See if you can use other means of verifying what, what path they're suggesting and whether or not it's a good idea to follow that path. Look at it from previous videos, see if you can prove uh, from other di different directions what they're trying to do. See if you can uh, uh, use an analogy and come from different perspectives uh, to, to come from different approaches to the same conclusion they're trying to get at. Uh, if you can, then you know all the better if you can't, be very skeptical of what they're trying to do. Hopefully this is something you can watch out for. And if, you, uh, if you're interested in more examples, feel free to ask anywhere where this video is posted, just like the other ones. Any questions from the audience? No, I just can't. Okay. Well, hopefully you enjoyed. See you next video.